What's up guys, Mr. Boss here, and I'm here today with a 2K16 video for you guys. This isn't 2K16, don't freaking hate that this isn't, this is not 2K16, okay? Tonight, today, I'm doing this video to explain my top 10 features in 2K16. Now, this week is a huge, huge week for wrestling fans. We've got Hell in a Cell coming up tonight, we got a lot tomorrow, we got 2K16 coming out on, choos on Tuesday. Well, technically it's tomorrow night, but yeah. Uh, but Friday for me, since I get, since I'm in the UK. But I want to say my top 10 things in 2K16 for you guys. Now this is my opinion. You guys can comment down in the description your top 10 things. This is just my opinion. So if you disagree, then put your opinions down in the description. Okay, so. So my number 10. I've got a create a championship. Create a championship, I think, was the last time it was in the game was SmackDown vs. Uh, 2007? But the, uh, no, I'm... I'm I think it was in 2K14. It was in 2K14, but you couldn't like, like it didn't have that much customization. But this year's Create Championship, I've seen some videos online of it. This year's Create Championship looks even better. It looks improved. You can customize the straps, the relief, the logos, the belt buckles, and everything, and you can just create everything. So that's why I've put it as my number 10. It's not that big, but it's still big. Up next for number nine, this is essential to my universe mode, Create Diva. Now a little hint, a little hint for you guys here. I need Create Diva for my universe mode, so people can upload these certain four divas onto Community Creations, and I can download them for my universe mode. Now, when I say four, you know, you know which divas I'm talking about. I'm obviously talking about the four horsewomen: Sasha Banks, Bailey, Charlotte, and Becky Lynch. But uh, yeah. I'm glad Create Divas back. You can uh, dye the hair now on Superstars as well, on in Divas, but that looks improved a lot. And there's more Diva hairstyles, there's more Diva, you know, clothes, there's more Diva items you can put in your Diva, okay? So I'm glad that Create Divas back. Uh, really excited for it. On number 8, I have the new moves. Now, I saw CM Pulse uh, do a video of all the new moves in 2K16. There's probably more because of. Uh, Probably because some you can't have as finishes, but he showed up all the new finishes, I should say. But all the new finishes look amazing. Uh, they've got the recoil bomb in there, they've got a new neutralizer, they've got a standing curb stomp, a rebound proper power bomb. They've got the handspring head scissors takedown thing, that which looks amazing, guys. You need to check his video out. Just uh, go on to St. Paul's channel, look at new uh, moves and stuff, and it should be there. So the moves is my number eight. The new moves is going to be amazing. There's some great moves in there, and I cannot wait to play with the new moves. Number seven, we've got Universe Mode. Now, Universe Mode, most people say that it hasn't gone much of a change, but I think it has. 2K announced that they have put loads of more cutscenes in, loads more cutscenes. And I saw a video yesterday, which was a new cutscene. It was Baron Corbin versus uh, Finn Balor, I think. Finn Balor defeated Baron Corbin. I forgot who it was, by the way, so I can't give you a shout-out, but if it was you, just tell me in the comments. Um, but Baron Corbin, after he lost the match, he hit the ref, and he was arguing with Finn Balor, and he just punched the ref in the face and just threw him across the ring. So that's a new cutscene um, I haven't seen before. Um, so yeah, they've also said that uh, normally in 2K15, there will be two different outcomes for rivalries in 2K15, but now there's ten different outcomes in between Raws and pay-per-views and SmackDown and stuff. So there's ten different outcomes instead of two, which is a major, major difference. Also with the inclusion of the personality traits, that's going to be amazing because you can have people who are loyal, bold, cowardly, uh, you know, confident, you know, people like that. So that's going to be amazing. Universe mode is my number seven. Now coming up next, number six. The new reversal system. Guys, I think you guys can agree with me here. How amazing does the new reversal system look? Literally, I was so sick of 2K15 having reversal Russian leg sweeps and re reversal Russian reverse STOs. Now, I just hated the reversal system for 2K15, I really did. Like, I just hated every single time you reversed a move, it was either a kick to gut, elbow to the face, a Russian leg sweep or an STO. I'm glad they've changed it this time. They've put loads and loads of more new reversal uh, moves in. But I think there's like something like over 50 freaking different reversals. It's so crazy, man. But uh, the new reversal system is going to be absolutely outstanding. 
try for me is create a show. Create a show is basically where you can change the LED, the graphics, and everything of your show. Uh, basically, create a show is going to be essential in my universe mode because you guys voted for uh, you guys voted for uh, me to do a custom arena for my uh, raw, and that's what I'm going to do for you guys. So you voted, you get it. So create a show is going to have all graphics in from current pay per views, from past pay per views in the game, and create a show is going to be amazing. So that is my number five. My number four is the new rope break feature where you can put your feet on the ropes if you're a heel you can do a rope break but sometimes the ref doesn't see it. It's like real life because the referee doesn't always see your hand or foot on the rope like in real life so you gotta be you gotta be wise when you put it on the rope because I think you can only do it twice per match which is going to be it's going to be kind of annoying if you put your hand on the rope, you spend your time putting your hand on the rope and then the ref just counts to three and he doesn't even see it. So, I guess it's kind of bad and good at the same time, but it's it's going to be pretty fun. My number three is create an arena. Create an arena. Oh my god, I love that mode. Create an arena is back in this year's game in 2K16. I loved create an arena in 2K15 last gen obviously but uh, now you can customize what the stage looks like you can customize the titantrons the minitrons the led the announce table the the crowd the barricade everything you can think of in the arena you can change it you can add props to the stage you can add tables ladders chairs the statue of liberty a stretcher stone colds motor moto bike thing Queen Arena this year looks outstanding it's got looks so much improved and I cannot wait to play with, the, with. I kind of play around with it, like, I don't know if I'm going to create a custom Wrestlemania, like, I'm doing a, a poll currently, uh, with all the Wrestlemanias in the game, but I'm really, I'm really tempted to create a custom Wrestlemania, but maybe not for Universe Mode, but maybe for something else, maybe another series I do. Okay, my number two, number two, my career mode. My career mode looks amazing this year. My career mode last year was, well, let's just say this. My career mode last year was the same word as Zack Ryder's career. Utter horse shit. My career last year was just bullshit. It was just it was just the worst. But I didn't like my, my career last year. That's why I didn't record me playing it. But uh, it was just shambles. But this year my career looks improved. You can run in to people's entrance you can run into people's matches now. You can have personality traits, like I mentioned earlier, for universe mode. You can, uh, Stefan's doing a catch and pedigree right there. But, um, yeah, so my career mode, you can stay on NXT, which I like. You can stay on NXT, like, you can just be an NXT superstar for the rest of your career. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad my career is back in this year and much improved. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy with my career mode this year. It looks amazing. On to my number one. My number one, Breakout. Breakout is amazing. I've seen some gameplay of Breakout. Basically, this is where you attack your opponent. Basically, if you're on your way to the ring and you want to attack your opponent in the ring, you can break out your entrance and you can go straight to the ring and stop brawling. Or you can do a running where you where you haven't entered yet, but your opponent's entering, and you can come from behind them out of the entrance way and attack them from behind. I love that. The entrance gear stays on. Everything stays on that they do in the entrance. Even Tyler Breeze's selfie stick stays with him. Like, it falls off, but, like, it goes for a cutscene and then the entrance gears off. Which is kind of... I, I, I kind of want the uh, the uh, things to stay on. Like, the entrance gear. But, I, I don't know. It's, uh, you know, it's it's what it is. My breakout is going to be amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to... I'm not going to spam it, obviously, like some people would do, probably. But my breakout is going to be essential to my, uh, to my universe mode. That's going to be, like, amazing, okay? So... Let's run down the list again. We've got 10, create a championship, 9, create a diva, 8, no new moves, 7, universe mode, 6, new reversal system, 5, create a show, 4, rope break feature, 3, create an arena, 2, my career, and number 1 is the breakout feature. Hit the subscribe button, guys, if you're new here. Hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more of my content. Also, guys, I'm close, I'm really, really close to 400 subscribers. In August, I was in August. I was at 200. In September, I was at 300. Now you guys have gotten me to almost 400. I'm on 398 subscribers. If you guys could keep this up, do it monthly, I would appreciate the hell out of you guys. 
I already do appreciate the hell out of you guys, but I would appreciate it even more if you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Don't forget, this is Mr. Creep Boss. You guys have done this for me, and I want to thank you for that. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.